Uh, this is kind of a momentous occasion, monumental day for us. I hate gators. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> Ryan's on the Sir Grumpy Gills today. He is a little bit. <laughs> wow. It's a Christmas miracle, Joe. It is not. It's a Christmas disaster, Michael. I hope you like it. We're in the car, and uh, we're in the Publix parking lot because we just dropped mom off to do some, um, she's gonna go and do some grocery shopping. It's me, it's Brennan, it's Katie, it's dad. We just ordered uh, hot chai tea lattes from Starbucks. This thing is absolutely amazing. So um, Katie got a venti because she's her, I guess. Uh -huh. um, anywho, Brennan is watching the World Cup. It's Germany versus Japan right now. And uh, so we're pretty invested in that. We're gonna go over to Nan and Paps, eat some pancakes, have a good time. Okay. And I think we might go get a Christmas tree today, which I am just over the moon about. So stay tuned. Uh, this is kind of a momentous occasion, monumental mm. day for us because I don't remember the last time that we got our Christmas tree before Thanksgiving because dad is so Mr. Grumpy Girls about it that we never get our tree before Thanksgiving and then all the good trees go away. Yeah. You can't get the tree before Thanksgiving. Well, I agree, Dad. We're getting it today. So wrong. Yeah. I don't we think Santa to. comes if we, uh... We, if, 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 listen, the system forced us to. Because okay. now, because now Thanksgiving starts in, like, or, sorry. Because now Christmas starts in, like, August. Remember that on Christmas So everyone's morning. getting their trees, but if you wait until after Thanksgiving, I agree it's not morally right, but if you want a half-decent tree and not when a Charlie Brown tree, then you need, you need to get it for Thanksgiving. Okay, Christmas morning. Ew. That's not my rules. Yeah, I make the rules. We just spent the morning with Nan. She treated us to a beautiful breakfast. Thank you, Nan. Pap is golfing. He's normally the breakfast guy, but uh, Nan took care of it for us this morning. The sun is out. We're going to go back to our house now and then get all spiffied up and go get a Christmas tree. So you guys, this is our first Florida Christmas tree. Brennan, are you looking forward to it? Do they only have palm trees here? <laughs> I don't know, but wouldn't that be fun? How's the door in case that bird had a brother? Oh my gosh. Nana and Pap fought a bird out of their uh, bedroom this morning. Bedroom, Mom, or closet? What was it? Well, it flew. It was like in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I where it came a from. bird. I can't yeah, imagine. Yeah. Thanks, oh, there you go. Okay, thank All right. We'll see you later. Thank Bye. you, Nana. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We love you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We will. All right, you guys, we are on the way home from Nana's house, and no joke, can you see him? Wait, hold on. Brennan is mad at it because it's the University of Florida Gators. I hate Gators. Hey, that's not nice. Wow, he is impressive. Do you think... Do you think that people can tell that we just moved to Florida? <laughs> yeah, we're like, look at we, the, look we, at the gator. We saw a gator, we stopped Katie, in the car. Katie is doing the Florida State chop. Brennan is chopping. Ryan's concerned that we look like we're new. <laughs> Brennan's now talking to the alligator. Are you taunting him about the game, Brennan? Tell him that Anthony Richardson is a trash can. <laughs> Your head coach is back! <laughs> Alright, sweet gator. Well, well, well. It's family meeting time. Ryan's sleeping again. <laughs> wake up, Ryan! Wake up! Our plans only like, I'd say 43% of the time end up actually happening. Actually happening. Yeah, we it's always do. We always have grand ideas. Okay, so this is the deal, you guys. Today is Christmas tree day, which is very exciting. Who's excited? I'm excited. Thank you. Ryan seems very excited. Ryan's very excited. Ryan, Brennan, are you excited? Ow, stop slapping me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna kick the... Oh. 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 oh so Let's start all over again. This uh, is <laughs> So this is the deal. Dad, you've lost your title. Oh, exactly. So this is the thing, you guys. To, okay. You Our tradition in Maryland has happen. always been to go and cut down a Christmas tree. You can watch video after video after video from years back. Yeah, except we, in the more recent years, Dad has given up because... Dad refuses to let us get our Christmas tree before Thanksgiving, and so we always go to the Christmas tree farm, and there ends up being like one or two Christmas trees there, and they're all like... Right. So we end up getting the ones that are already cut down. So that's what's happened in the past... 
two or three years, I think. Maybe so. he was weaning you off because he knew that this we were going to come to this moment. So now is our first Christmas in Florida, and we would like to go cut down a Christmas tree. There, I researched Christmas tree farms. There are four farms in Florida where you can go cut down your own Christmas tree. One of them is only an hour and 45 minutes away from us. <laughs> so we have planned on going to that farm today to cut down the Christmas tree. Now, I have presented to each one of you that this is the deal. We can, Ryan, are you listening? Nobody's listening. Okay. I'm the only one. Thank you, Brennan. What is the place, the Halloween place? that we uh, went to Halloween Festival. What, what was that called? Some kind of, I don't know. Okay, but anyway, so this is the deal. We had talked about going to this place to cut down our tree. I'll talk to you. you don't know. Thank you, Brian. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, and look at these you things. can represent what's happening over here. I'm I'll be the spokesperson. The thing is that we live in Florida now, Brennan, and in Florida, they cannot grow the same kind of trees that they can grow up north. So we've always been used to having a Fraser fir or a Douglas fir for our Christmas tree. they have really heavy ornaments. I think I know what's coming next. So they grow, there are two different kinds of trees that they can grow here. I can't remember what they're called. So I'm totally up for going there and seeing those trees. And if we decide that we want to cut one of those down, we can. The option, the other option is if we're there and we decide we don't want to cut those down, they also do have Fraser firs and Douglas firs for sale that they imported from North Carolina. You know, I am a big complainer about coldness in Tallahassee, but it did feel like Christmas in Tallahassee. Like when I go and I have to like walk through the cold to get my hot drink from Starbucks, mm -hmm. that feels like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Here. Here. Like, What's the temperature say? Uh, 80. It's 80. Yeah. 80 and sunny. Oh, I gotta tell you what, we could decorate a palm tree. That was Nana's idea. All right, so what do you guys think? So we could either go to the Christmas tree farm, because, uh, you know, when, in Maryland, the Christmas tree farm was about an hour and 15 minutes away. Yeah, so it was like a whole trip adventure thing. A whole adventure. Well, we would go in the morning and then... Or sometimes we'd fall asleep in the car in the afternoon, coming back. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Do, are you guys ready to vote on this, or do you want to discuss it a little bit more? What should we do? I well, should I feel like we should discuss our options more. For... Well, our options are to either go an hour and 45 minutes to the Christmas tree farm, or go locally and grab a Christmas tree. Or a fake tree. I, we I could get a fake tree. tree. Brennan? And the third option is we can get a fake tree, but I don't even like to say that out loud. Yeah. Okay. We have a fake tree. We could just use the um, silver one. That's not, I mean, that's for decoration. That's not a real Christmas tree. Like, it, it's There's not. No, like, Christmas spirit. Right. You can't put presents right. under that one. What? You can't put presents under that one. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan spoke. Santa, Santa, Santa would not. Santa on the phone and ask him. He'd know. What did, Brett, what did Ryan say, honey? I'd rather Nothing celebrate wrong. Hanukkah than use the white tree. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Brennan, <laughs> your choices are. Douglas <clears throat> fir. You want to go just buy a tree. Okay. Brett, Ryan. I want to go drive an hour 45. Dad? You do or don't? I do. Just go buy a tree. Katie? This isn't like me, but I'd rather have a strong, solid Christmas tree than a flimsy one. Ratio. Now, I will say the last two years, we did go and just get a tree, and we acted like we were hunting one down, so we could act like we're cutting one down. Now, I don't want yeah, to... last year we got us from the Y. We did, and the year before that, we got it from Homestead it Gardens, remember? It was like 130 bucks. Remember? All right, you guys, so what do you think we, we should do? We still had a good Christmas, we still had a great Christmas. What do you think we should do, you guys? What do you think? So this is the other thing I will say. I will say this. Also, not a bad idea to start new traditions. Like, let's say, for example, wait, time out, time out. Let's say, for example, we go get a Christmas tree, and then we go somewhere and have like appetizers and drinks, like somewhere Christmassy, and then come back and decorate the Christmas tree. Like maybe we have a place that we go. Like if we go, let's say we go to something, something, something farms to get the Christmas tree. And right next to it, there's a cool, like, I don't know, restaurant. Or we could go to the oh, beach. Disney World. <laughs> right? We could do that. There's this cool place called Disney World. But I think like taking our traditions, keeping as many of them the same as we can, but then creating new ones is also a good idea. Agreed. Thank you, Brennan. Well, how about the new one being that we're not in Maryland? <laughs> yeah, can we turn it cold? Can we turn the AC on? Yes, we can. Well, we definitely, when we decorate, we have to turn the AC on. All right, you guys, so stay tuned to see what we decide, where we go, what we're doing. How long Brennan. Is take? Probably two hours, three hours. There's no food. Yeah, you can turn football on. Yeah, because we have a TV. We're going to decorate Wait, upstairs and downstairs. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah. next game. There's no World Cup or football. So 
So what are we gonna do? Okay, good. Christmas. We can put Christmas music on, you guys. No, Christmas it's, movies. Or Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Just wait two days. Christmas movie. Uh, uh, I'm, no. uh, how about how about Christmas vacation? It's kind of Thanksgiving because they make a turkey. Or we can do what's the movie that's kind of a Christmas movie but not really Christmas. Movie? Oh, it's a Wonderful Life. That is a Christmas Die Hard. Movie. Die Hard. <laughs> I know, I know, they do say, what did you say? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. We could do Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, I gotta pay attention to that I one. Think it's a Wonderful Life could definitely play. That could definitely play. No, that's like a meat of the Christmas season kind of movie. The other movie that we could so play you know, is. You say just gets worse. The Sound of Music, Brennan. How about The Sound oh, of Music? Yeah. We could play The Sound of Music. Bar? No, I don't think you should be a All right, Mike, what are we doing? What are you a bar? I think you're right, and then we'll decide where we go from there. This is not necessarily turning out how we wanted it to turn out, so we thought we were gonna go Christmas tree getting at this place where, okay, we decided not to cut one down. We weren't gonna drive the hour on 45. So we decided instead to go to the farm that Mike suggested. They don't sell Christmas trees. It's only a pumpkin farm. So then I looked up places that we could go locally to get Christmas trees and it doesn't seem like there are very many. Katie said the grocery store has them so now we're going from like this glorious beautiful day-long trip to cut down Christmas trees and hot cider and hot dogs and wreaths to maybe just getting it at the grocery store. Part of the reason is I mean we thought we would, thought we would start a new tradition too by maybe getting a Christmas tree and then going to a restaurant and like playing like miniature golf and that kind of thing. But Katie's constipated so she doesn't want to poop while we're there. So now we've driven in a huge circle. I am not constipated. What, do you, what are you? The opposite. She's diarrheal. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Well, I have a Modi Medi at home, but you want to poop, right? Mom, I what? want to be home so that I can have the comfort of my own toilet right next to me if I need it. Okay, okay. So so now we've driven in a large circle. We still haven't found a Christmas tree. We're on our way to the grocery store where we can probably get a Christmas tree and some medicine for Katie. <laughs> and then maybe we'll go home and Katie will poop and we'll put up a Christmas tree. This is the most magical Christmas ever. <laughs> this is not the way it was supposed to go. It's a Christmas miracle, Joan. It is not. It's a Christmas disaster, Michael. Mom, the difference between between an ordeal and an That's adventure my girl. is your attitude. That's okay. right, Katie. Yeah. We're all still laughing. Ryan, are you laughing back there? Say that again. Are you laughing back there? <laughs> no. Okay. Brendan, how you doing, buddy? If we win on Friday, it's called soccer. <laughs> oh, that's big. That is World Cup. We brought our, brought our Santa hats oh, and everything, thinking that... People have their lights on. They're definitely grabbing one. Oh, 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 oh. This thinking that maybe we'd be going to a Christmas tree farm, but here we are at the Publix, local grocery store. It's where we're gonna get our tree. And no, hey, listen, no offense to all of you who do get your tree <laughs> at the grocery store. It's just not something that, that we're used yeah, we to. Yeah, we up right in front of the trees like you're doing. And the, they're teeny tiny. And the other thing is, we realized just now that we think that maybe the reason there aren't Christmas tree places around is because it's Florida and they would all die. So I think a lot of people do, we, and we're just realizing this, we think a lot of people probably do fake trees because it's Florida and so they won't die. I'm thinking my parents do, my friend Paula does. Like, I think that's the, the deal. Oh wait, you mean the tree like in the house? Yeah, outside oh. outside waiting to be purchased and then in the house. No, in the, our, our house is always warm. Yeah, but you want it to be cold. No, I mean like in Maryland our house was always warm. Okay. It's dead. Wish us luck. Here we go. Hunting our Christmas tree. Can we take one of these small bushes and dress it up? Let's just take This year is the year of a big Christmas tree because in Maryland we have very like low ceilings downstairs. So now that we have tall ceilings, this is the perfect This one, for example. Well, Ryan, are you our measurer? You know what I mean? That's all wrapped up. Thank you very much. That's right. Right on his shoulder. He he's the man. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Go ahead. Hold your hand up. All that. Yeah, that'll work. What do you jump? Can you, what do you jump? Can you jump? Please, please. Can't can't you reach that high? Come on, man. Yeah, we're not jumping. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> and we can take him up tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I don't think we have a saw. When did you go? Um, yeah, 
Yeah, you can stand somewhere. You think it's, but if that's too tall, there's a littler one over here. No, no, no. no I think we, we need the tallest one. Okay. All right, so if we're getting that one, let's take a picture of the whole family around it. Brennan, come on in. Okay, is it, I can't see my sunglasses. Yeah, it's good. Okay, hold on. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna do one with the camera too, or with it, hold on. This is uh, what I, you do. I actually by myself last year, so. Uh-huh. Ryan's a Mr. Grumpy Gills today. He is a little bit But grumpy. it's okay and I understand because yes. I was a Grumpy Gills for a while too. For many years. He's just going through my state, <laughs> which is fine because everyone has one. <laughs> Ryan's just going through his. We're gonna be patient with him at this time and we ask for your patience as well um, so, until he becomes happy again. <laughs> I can't you. see traffic, so I need someone to grab me. XOXO, Live Happy Productions. <laughs> Getting a sap on the rug. Okay. Well, where else would you like a sap? You can let. Oh, shirt and hand. Okay. Careful with the uh, fan it's too. It fits. It is the perfect height. Look at that. <sighs> That's great. Stuff in my hair. We should have reorganized the couch. Yes. <laughs> before. Just take a shower. We brought the tree in. That's a good point. All right, we are going to transform this room by putting our Christmas tree up. Here's the before. Hey guys, here it comes. Oh, it's turning into a Christmas tree. I think it just might be. Thank you, Brennan. Look at how exciting. Good job, Ryan. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think it might be Mike. I mean, we've had some really great ones. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing: if we if we had a Pine Valley Farms in Florida, we'd be able to buy a tree. We'd be able to cut down a tree this big. Right. That's right. Big. God so bless you. Right. Small, God bless you. God bless you. Exactly. <laughs> you made a good point, though, Kate. All right, we had to take a pit stop and come to the Home Depot because we ran out of lights. We didn't have enough lights. So here we are. Right. We found our lights, and now we're looking at all the fun Christmassy stuff. If you push a button, I bet he plays. Animated trumpet player. <laughs> No way! We might have to get him. Okay, he's good too. Does he move? Where? I mean, he doesn't move. He can't even stand up. <laughs> Dad, how do we feel about the new lights on the tree? I'm delighted. 
I'm also delighted. And the camera it looks cool too because they're all different brightnesses. Yes. They're like stars in the night sky. Aww, but I like that sort of cool blue color. I think it's kind of nice. 600 like lights. Blue light. 600 LED lights. And 60 bucks. Yeah, it was. So do the math. Is 12 dollars per light? No. <laughs> yeah. There's 200 lights per box. Each box is 20 bucks, so each light is 50 cents. 25 cents. 10 cents. Yes. Each light is 10 cents. It's kind of pricey. It is kind of pricey. Holy cow. So don't lose these guys. Yeah, and don't go to line. We're mainly talking okay. to you. <laughs> this is a, uh, yeah, exactly. This is a tradition. We always hang these on the kids' doors. They made these in uh, preschool when they were little. This is Katie, her little hand wreath. Aww. It says Katie on it. 2006. This is Brennan's, 2005. He was in the same, I think that would have been the twos, right? Maybe threes? The twos? Definitely not the twos. I think the threes. There's Ryan's in 08. They make their little wreaths. Oh wait, it was just yesterday. I know, right? Oh. Holy cow. And then there's Alice, who's constantly looking for a way out of here. <laughs> Let me out. All right, it's time to put on the ornaments, guys. Let's do it. Let's This is, this is what it's come to. Our tree is finished, you guys. I hope you like it. The place is cleaned up and we are playing games. We just played Bananagrams, my favorite game. And now we're going to play. Katie's teaching us a game called President. Is that right? President. It's a card game. If you guys know how to play President, let us know. That was fun though, Kate. That was a pretty efficient put up, right? What'd you say? Oh! Let's go. That's the great eight. Another That's one why one he's eight. the goat. That's why he's the, the greatest goat. Goat. of all time. I'm my seven, baby. What was it? Ovi. Guys, we are finishing the night. We are playing cards, but we're going to roll into a movie here in just a few minutes. So before we get too tired, we're going to share what made us happy. Definitely what made me happy today was having our Christmas tree decorated. It was quite funny ending up at Club Books, but it ended up being a beautiful tree anyway. I'm very happy. Ryan, what made you happy today? I'm glad that the day turned out to be a success. I liked it. Oh, oh, that's so. Cool. I liked uh, watching the World Cup. I'm a big step up, on I liked watching the World Cup with everyone, and I liked that the evening turned out to be a success. I liked that the Caps won, and Obi's inching closer to Gretzky. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the random guy at the Lightning game. <laughs> wrong. Um, but yeah, I love how we got the tree and everyone's back together. Katie, what made you happy today? What made me happy today was oh, not that shuffle. Um. Getting our tree up. I thought it was really funny. It's the biggest tree we've ever had, which is it nice. Because we is. didn't have high ceilings like this in Maryland. But uh, I loved hanging out with Dad doing the tree. That's awesome. And everyone else, but. It's a great tradition we have. Brennan, you look like you don't have any clothes on. Can you like rearrange yourself so we can see that you're actually clothes? There you go. What made you happy today? Cats. Cats? Oh, that's nice. They love you. Eddie, what made you happy today? Yeah, with his boy. His boy. And look at Dad already fell asleep. He had a big day putting up the Christmas tree and doing all the things he did. I'm sure what made him happy today was also putting up the Christmas tree with all of us. So thank you guys so much. Oh, and watching soccer. Dad has become quite a soccer oh, fan. Oh, yeah. World Cup today made me happy too. Yeah, we watched, or you guys watched. Actually, what made me happy was Dad watching soccer today. That's I, nice. I never thought that would happen. Yeah, and enjoying it. He totally enjoyed it. He loved it. He's a soccer fan. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment below what made you guys happy today. We hope you enjoyed your day. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It is Thanksgiving in America. Bye. <laughs>
For the latest in Live Happy and Love That Family merchandise, visit lovethatfam.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.